Alisa Development Guide from Creative Diagnostics An Alisa system consists of four technical elements, 1. Alisa plate coating strategy, 2. Antigen resources and antibody pairs, 3. Conjugating or labeling strategy, 4. Enzyme and chromogen. Alisa coating strategy. When developing a new Alisa for a specific antigen, the first step is to determine an immobilizing strategy, and optimize the plate coating conditions for the antigen, or capture antibody. Although, generally we use polyvinyl, or polystyrene 96 well plate, as the solid phase of Elisa, there are actually a variety of solid phase material can be used. Polyvinyl iodine difluoride has the highest binding capacity, nitrocellulose, nylon, modified polystyrene, and microparticles is with high capacity. While the binding capacity of polystyrene beads, is moderate. And polystyrene in plate or tubes, polyvinyl and modified plates, is with low binding capacity. Immobilization can be defined as the attachment of molecules, antigen and antibody, to a surface, resulting in reduction or loss of mobility. The way in which proteins are immobilized, will determine the properties of the ELISA. In some cases, immobilization may lead to partial, or complete loss of protein activity, due to random orientation and structural deformation. In order to fully retain biological activity, proteins should be attached onto surfaces, without affecting conformation and function. Generally, the choice of a suitable immobilization strategy, is determined by the physico-chemical and chemical properties of both surface, and protein. Many immobilization techniques have been developed in the past years, which are mainly based on the following three mechanisms, physical, covalent, and bioaffinity immobilization. Antigen and antibody Antigen, and antibody are two major factors determining the sensitivity, and specificity of an assay. The purity and stability of antigen, are key parameters that affect the performance of ELISA. High antigen purity, can enhance the capability of capturing antibody, so that increases the sensitivity of the assay. The three-dimensional configuration of the antigen binding site, found in the fab portion of the antibody, controls the strength and specificity of the interaction with antigen. The stronger the interaction, the lower the concentration of antigen can be detected. Either monoclonal, or polyclonal antibodies can be used as the capture, and detection antibodies in sandwich ELISA systems. Monoclonal antibodies have an inherent monospecificity toward a single epitope, that allows fine detection and quantification of small differences in the antigen. A polyclonal is often used as the capture antibody to pull down as much of the antigen as possible. Then a monoclonal is used as the detecting antibody, in the sandwich assay to provide improved specificity. An important consideration in designing a sandwich ELISA is that, the capture and detection antibodies, must recognize two different non-overlapping epitopes. When the antigen binds to the capture antibody, the epitope recognized by the detection antibody, must not be obscured or altered. Capture and detection antibodies that do not interfere with one another, and can bind simultaneously are called matched antibody pairs, and are suitable for developing a sandwich ELISA. Conjugate strategy. Enzyme-labeled antibody, is the key of the ELISA signal output. Conjugation of enzymes to antibodies involves the formation of a stable, covalent linkage between an enzyme, and an antigen-specific monoclonal or polyclonal antibody in which neither the antigen combining site of the antibody, nor the active site of the enzyme is functionally altered. Various reporter enzymes, such as horseradish peroxidase, alkaline phosphatase and many others, can be attached to antibodies and proteins through the use of different coupling chemistries, to ensure the maximum retention of activity of both enzyme and protein. Enzyme and chromogen The final stage of ELISA is dictation. The intensity of signal produced when the substrate is added, will be directly proportional to the amount of antigen captured in the plate, and bound by the detection reagents. The most commonly used enzymes, and substrate or chromophore systems used in ELISA, and the color changes with relevant stopping agents, are as follows.
Creative Diagnostics, provides contract ELISA kit development services for the R&D and IVD community. We conduct ELISA kit development services to support regulatory approval submission. Creative Diagnostics will carry out the approval proposal and deliver the expected results and documents in a time and cost-effective manner. Thanks for your view. For more information about ELISA kit development services or antigen antibody products, please visit www.creative-diagnostics.com.